hello this tutorial I will show you how to make a uh, Morgan 1.1 parallax stage I created this template for you for you to easy to understand how the stage and the parallax works and okay let's open Morgan and I will show you what this template looks like. Round one, fight. Okay, this is the template. So you can see it's quite 3D and I will tell the details on how to make it. First, let's take a look at our sprite. So this is the sprite we are going to use as the floor. As you can see, it's rectangular. It's not like in the game. It looks like this. So we have two Two parallax mode. The mode I'm going to use is width. Another mode is called X scale, which uh, is not used for those kind of rectangular sprite. I explained last time, so you better check out my previous video. So let's get started. So before we start we need to do a z offset settings the z offset means the player where the player is stand on so normally here is based on the local coordinate so here the local coordinate is 1280 by 720 which is uh, 16 by 9 ratio and this template is only for 16 by 9 since it's moving 1.1 so we can fix a very annoying issue in Morgan 1.0 I will show you the annoying issue because this nobody want to use 16 by 9 ratio okay this is it one fight. fight see when we use zoom equals to one the character looks crazy big so that's why nobody want to use 16 by 9 but in Morgan 1.1 and we have zoom so we can zoom out a little bit this is my recommend value fight see now the character looks okay now so when you use zoom you will find out the 0 at y at y axis is not at the top actually is down because we use a zoom if we change to 1 the 0 will be at top so 
the whole area will be cut. That's why make the character so big. Then we have another thing which is Z offset set. Here I set to zero. By rights, the character's feet should uh, it should appear at here, which is zero. But why he is standing on the floor? Because I have Z offset link to an object object ID which is 100 so the 100 object is our floor which is here this is a parallax floor so if I move this floor the character also move so it's very convenient you don't have to set the Z offset then let's see our floor. The floor sprites is 2000 by 400. So here is 400, here is 2000. I label every box, every square is 200 by 200. So So let's copy it. And it starts from scratch. So I will remove all other objects. comment then out then let's start okay so we put at zero we don't want to tire we don't know the delta yet we don't know we just keep it at original size so the width is 2000, uh, this is the upper width, the upper width is here, this is the down width, down width is here. Start scale, a scale start is the value to make things bigger or small. This is the ID which links to the Z offset. Okay. I have already commented out all of the elements, so we should only see the floor. Cut! Round one, fight. See? Here, this point is very important. So here, because we link to this element, which is this sprite, the player will stand on here. So if I move here, the player will, will stand on here. If I move here, the player will stand on here. So current, the Y is 250. Here is 250. Which means here is 150 because it's total 400 and let's look at our sprite here so we are going to move down see the character's feet is at zero the character fact feet is at zero. So we're going to move down a bit. So we are going to move down to 
maybe I want the fit to move to four hundred and clearly previously I set to six hundred. Let's try four hundred. Round one, fight! Oh yes, 400. Then I've set to previous value. Six, five, six, fifty. Round one, fight! Six. 50 here okay now we're going to make it looks 3d by stretching the bottom line by stretching the bottom line and I squeeze the upper line uh, upper width, I actually say the bottom width will be so. Yes, if I make it the upper only half of the distance, what will it look like? It will look like one. this. Fight. But as you can see clearly, it's not. 200 pixels per block anymore. Mm, here, you can see from 0, 50, 100, 150, 200. It shrinks down. So if you want to make the block looks still looks like a, like a square, so I suggest you squeeze the up width and stretch the down width. So the up one I divide by two, the down one I multiply by two, which is four thousand. Round now one fight much better. But you can see something is wrong. It's clearly something is wrong. That's because the delta value, which is this one, is wrong. So what does it mean for one? Fight. For one means uh, there's a concept called Morgan camera. So the Morgan system camera is always sit at here at the center of the screen, which is this white line. If the character moves, the camera may move. Fight. See the camera move. If the delta set to one means if the cam camera move one pixel, the corresponding elements will also move for one pixel. Uh, which for this parallax floor is wrong. Why? Because uh, everybody living in a 3D world, we know if something is far away, then even the speed is very great, it looks moves very slow. If something is near, then it moves faster. So how to determine here and 
here. So at the player's feet, it's always one. See this ruler? This ruler is always one. The delta is always one. Means the camera move one pixel. The ruler also move one pixel. But here should be more than one pixel. Here should be less than one pixel. So the delta here, this value is the upper width delta. It means this line's speed. So how to make, how to calculate this? So I already got. I already got this formula. If I want to draw it, okay, let's draw it. This is how the formula works. So here, so this is the sprite of the floor. And here we already know here is four thousand because we set to four thousand. Here we are we already know it's one thousand. One thousand. because we set to 1000 here is the line where player is standing on so here is okay uh, the whole thing is the whole thing is 400 high 400 So I call this full height. Now here is 250. Here is 150. So I call this ground height. So the thing is here. Okay, here. I should rename it. R. Here is R. This is R. So we want to know how long is here. So so this is it. <coughs> R equals to down with Downwards is four thousand minus ground height, ground height, which is 
150 150 multiply by down width minus up width which is 4000 minus 1000 3000 more divide by down width oh sorry no Should divide by not down with should be four heights. It should be four height. Divide by four heights, which is four hundred. Will be how much? Three thousand divided by four hundred seven point five multiplied by one hundred fifty years it, which is four thousand minus one one two five. And R equals two eight seven five two eight seven five. Okay, here is the R, which is two eight seven five. And how you calculate the upper delta, which is here. Actually, you need to know the upper one and then the down one. Here is you know, because the player is standing here. Here is the player. The player is standing here. So here the delta always one. You want to make sure this line delta is one. So here is easy. So you make some changes to the equation. Uh, okay, so two eight seven five. Here is the delta, is always 1, equals to 100, 100, 1000, which is the up delta, up delta, equals to Four thousand down delta. Then you just do a calculation. Now the upper delta equals to one thousand. Divide by the R. One thousand divided by R. This value. So 
So I use 0 0.3 4 6 7 8 2 okay. Now we should put the right. right See Fight See Now it's correct that means now here the delta is 0 0.34782 but how about here how about the outer one the down one the down delta so if you want to put something here then you have to know the down delta because uh, it will move corresponding to the floor. So let's put something so here is finished. So we put a tree. Here is a normal sprite, which is a tree. This is tree. So I put the axis point here and the root. And I will put at this coordinate the delta will be the upper delta, which is same value as this one. So let's see if we can get a tree. Fight. Yes, we get a tree. So let's verify. The axis, the x axis is six hundred. So here, if you see the ruler, it's six hundred, four hundred. So here is four hundred. Correct. And this tree will move at the up delta, which is this value. So the tree will not fly away. So what if you don't know this value? If you just set to 1, something will happen. See the tree move doesn't make sense. And I also got another tree which I will put here. So we'll, I will put at negative 600 which is around here. Bye should be here the y-axis is 800 800 should be down here and how do I know the delta value the delta value can be calculated here so the down delta down delta equals to Four thousand divide by the R, which is two eight seven five.
1.3913 so this is where it comes from okay let's see the tree Bye. yeah you got tree and it moves great Okay. So doing. So last time, one guy in. Yeah, the very three D. Three D things here. Yeah, here. There's a stage by Megatroid. It's called Haku Haku Yoko Ro. Haku Yoko Ro, which means a uh, tower like something. Calculated, so I figured out. Okay. So let's make a. Very 3D wall. The sprite we will use is this one. Okay. The sprite we will use is this one. So the axis point is at the far end here. So I don't know the delta value, so I set to 1. Here is the magic point. It's called scale delta. The, this thing means uh, when when the camera moves, this object will change the scale of its x axis so every time every time the camera moves for one pixel this guy's x axis will expand or contract So that's why it can look 3D. But how the hell I know this number? So if I set to zero, it will look like this. Because now it's zero. The x scale will not change, and the delta is wrong, which is one. 
So let's figure out the delta value first. So as we all know, this object axis point is here. So we need to know the value of the delta on this line on this line so where is here cross uh, corresponding to the floor so we know the floor is at Six fifty. Six fifty. And this guy is at four forty. So here is up go up is going to be minus minus 250 400 so here is 400 this line should be 400 hmm? is it is at 400 so here should be okay 3 is at 400 that means the upper the floor upper edge is at 400 then this guy is so this is a 3 400 the wall is at 440 that means go down by 40 go down by 40 means we need to know this R Let's say R2. We need to know how long here. So here is 4D. That means here is 360. Okay. Ground height is 360. Okay, let's do the calculation again. R2 equals 4000 minus ground height is not this value anymore. Three sixty plus or not plus multiply multi plus uh, still
done with okay it's still one thousand oh, three thousand sorry three thousand divide divide by the full height is 400 sorry here is full height this is full shit full height uh, no hmm. eraser So it becomes like a four thousand minus three sixty multiply okay. R2 is 1300. Okay, now we know the R2, which is this line. So we do need to know the delta value. So we add to this equation. Delta. This line is one three zero zero and uh, two delta is one three zero zero divide. Two eight seven five one zero 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 divide two eight seven five, which is this value. So we change the x delta to this value four five two one seven dot four five two one seven. Yes, correct. Okay, let's see what happened. Yeah, as you can see, this point's movement now is normal. But since we are not changing the x scale, so this thing will not change its shape. But x will remain the same because now it's zero. But what if I change to one? You see a crazy thing? Whoa. 
Whoa. So this one means every single Fight. pixel when the camera moves one pixel this thing's x axis will double its width will double so it's changed dramatically so the correct formula I will tell you so the correct formula is this one one divide one divide by the distance to center that means this thing Fight. this this point to center is 400 which we set to 400 actually so is 1 divided by distance to center then multiply the x scale starts x multiply by this one so it's 1 so it's always remain the same so we just need to calculate 1 divide by this 400 1 divide by 400 is this value then we change the x scale delta to this value mm. it doesn't look right Fight. so what we what we expect is when the scene move to the center of the screen the axis width should reach zero which means this object move to the left should shrink its x axis when the object move to the right it should expand its x axis uh, what we see is when this thing move to the right it actually shrink so it's not right so we need to add one minus sign to invert its behavior now it looks okay. It's 3D. It's damn 3D in a 2D fighting game. Here is another example. created another 3D wall but different in size so the another 3D wall will be an animation so we still use these sprites but we will create an animation for the based on this sprite so we use the 0 1 sprite but we flip horizontally we flip horizontally it makes some frames which change the transparency and then I decide to put in the left which is minus so all the same is the same the delta I put at the same height so we don't need to change the delta 
but we need to change the scale delta. Remember the formula is 1 divided by distance to center and uh, multiply by scale star which is 1 divided by 600 then multiply 3 is this value let's try and divide by this and multi plus 3 is 0 0.005 0 0.005 so let's check in the game now you see this wall Great, right? It's 3D.